Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Steve Leon. Several weeks ago, our grandson Jake texted me saying that God had been speaking to him through a particular contemporary worship song, and he asked if he might record a Daily Hope devotional. Well, I'm going to share a few words about the song that Jake references, play what he recorded at home, and then I'll close. But first of all, by way of introduction, Jake is in the eighth grade. He's got a younger brother and a younger sister, and they're the children of our oldest son, Nathan, and his wife, Carla, and they live in Leewood, Kansas. The song Jake references is called Build a Boat. It was written by Colton Dixon, who writes this. Build a boat is an anthem for anyone willing to stand up or step out for what they believe in. Just like Noah stepped out to construct an ark in the middle of a drought, faith can look a little crazy sometimes. I hope this song encourages you to go beyond what's comfortable and experience the reward on the other side of crazy faith. The words of the chorus declare this, I will build a boat in the sand when they say it never rains. I will stand up in faith, I'll do anything it takes With your wind in my sails, your love never fails or fades. I'll build a boat in the desert place. And when the flood and the water starts to rise, yeah, I'll ride the storm because I got you by my side. With your wind in my sails, your love never fails or fades. I'll build a boat. So let it rain. I'm so grateful that Jake offered to do this daily hope. Here's what he has to say from his heart in his home. Hi, Victory. I'm Jacob Leon, grandson of one of the pastors on the staff, Stephen Leon. Recently, our family has been listening to a song called Build a Boat from Colin Dixon. I've, I and our family have really enjoyed this song because of the faith in Jesus it professes. It describes us as wandering in a desert and calls us to have faith in God like Noah did. We can't let anything in this world sway us. Noah didn't let the people sway him. And he was able to do what God called him to do. And this was able to save humanity. No matter what the world thinks, we must continue to stick hold to our faith. This song later goes on to describe God as the wind in our sails. And I think this is just such a great analogy. Because with like sail-powered ships, the wind is what really takes you places. I mean, you can move the sail some to change the course a little bit, but without the wind, you could go nowhere. And I feel like we need to be like this with God and let him pick our course. And this is hard for many of us, myself especially, because I have the desire to control and want things to go how I want them to go. But we must let go because God is our, has it under control. It also goes on to say that God is our map and compass. He is our guide. We shouldn't fear what lies ahead because we have the greatest guide that humanity has ever has ever known. God also helps us deal with like problems that we don't even know are going to happen. So just leave it up to God. He never deserts us and will take care of us forever. He never forgets his promises to us. And this is just something that, you know, we struggle with and myself also because we just have when hard things come, we think, oh, God. He's not thinking of us, but we need to focus on him in those times. And we must surrender to the Lord and not pick our own path because he is the only one who knows the plan he has for us. And his plan is the greatest plan we could ever have. Please join me in prayer. Thank you, God, for Jake, for songwriters like Colton Dixon and so many others who speak your word to us in new ways. And thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. By your Holy Spirit, increase in us that gift of faith that so trusts you no matter what happens. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear friends, have an Easter blessed day as you remember that you are loved and you are never alone.